welcome to the first tutorial that I'm doing. I'm gonna be rendering up a fly through. There's a camera. This is my scene. And the camera just goes mm, straight down the street. Um, to render it off, I'm gonna be using uh, V Ray. And just to give you an idea, we're gonna be using um, indirect illumination. And there's our little light that we got in the scene. The shadows are on, VOA shadows. And just to show you what it looks like, there's the Omni up there somewhere casting the shadows. You can see the shadows are very dark. It's like nothing, no color in them at all. And it's not really realistic because in real life the light bounces and it will light up the shadows and that's what indirect illumination does it's also called global illumination um... hit alt w to maximize the viewport um... i'm in my camera viewport at the moment it's normally perspective um... as you can see the scene's not finished but for the point of the tutorial it'll do for now hit f10 for render settings we're going to go indirect illumination and turn it on. For the first multiplier, uh, primary bounces, I should say, um, we're going to be using the light cache. And for the tutorial, we'll just be using the light cache. So you can just turn the second one to none. Um, in the light cache settings, as you change these, you'll get different settings there. Um, for the light cache, we'll get subdivisions sample sizes, scale, number of passes, blah blah blah. What we need is to make sure that's not ticked on. Um, that you can tick it on or off. It doesn't really matter. That's just for you to see what it's doing, which you don't really need to know anyway. Um, subdivisions. Uh, the way light cache works is it sends rays uh, yeah, kind of rays from the camera and it shoots them all around the screen and then it calculates what that should be I think, that's my understanding I haven't learnt about it too much and I'll just show you what it looks like with the light cache on and yeah, anyway here's um it's a good pic picture. You got the normal one, and you got the one with the global illumination in the one picture. Um, you can see the shadows, you can compare them to that. You can see these ones are a lot brighter. But also the scene is a different color. That's because the light um, on the textures is bouncing off from the sky and stuff. So, you know, everything's got kind of like a reflectivity to it. And, um, yeah, it makes it look a lot realistic. More realistic, I should say. Yes, yeah. Anyway, um, that's it. Rend it off with the light cache. Nothing else special about it. It's just got a default Omni with the V Ray shadows on it. And the bad thing about this is when you move the camera, it recalculates the rays from the camera which you know it has to do but it the rays will land on a different part of the building and sometimes you'll have shadows on the walls they're like flickering because it doesn't when it doesn't calculate the exact same thing from each frame um, to stop that and to speed up render times a lot, we're going to be saving the light cache to a file. And it's pretty easy. We just change, I'm going to change the subdivisions to 500. Um, filter to non. This will speed up the time as well. Um, single frame, we're going to do fly through and click auto save and then save it into your I, I go render presets and just name it something meaningful 
I've already done that, so I don't need to. But I'll show you all the things you need to do for that. Alright, click auto save. Save it to whatever you want it to go. Um, change the filter to none. Go into the V-Ray settings and go image sampler, which is anti-aliasing, and change that to fixed. This will give you really blocky um, outlines, but it will speed up time. Also, this indirect illumination settings. Um, untick that. Um, no, tick it. I mean, don't render final image. And then go to common and go range 0 to 350. That's how long my animation goes for. It'll fly through. And don't save that because we're just going to be saving the fly through. Then when you hit render, just hit yes and then it will render through and you won't see any pictures but it will pre-render all the light cache data that you need. And then change after that's all done, you know it takes like, I think it took like 8 minutes to do mine. Um, change uh, the mode to from to from file hard to say and um go browse and load up that file that you saved and then um yeah all right what we've done just to recap is we've using a light cache changed the subdivisions up saved it to a file and now we're going to load up that file and then we're going to render off and we're going to see no flickering on the walls which you would normally see and it's going to have a lot faster render time alright back to V-Ray settings and you want to untick that now because um, you want to see the final render so yeah um, in the sampler Change that back, that'll give you like lots more smooth edges and stuff. Um, common, yeah, I'm gonna keep that same resolution. Um, keep it the same thing. I'm gonna save this file. There's all my tests that I've done. Uh, yeah, I'll save it in the tests anyway. Um, Fly through and um, no, call it GI. I'm just gonna normally I'd save it off as like target image sequences, so um, I'm just gonna upload this straight after this video. So I'm just gonna save it as a quick time movie. Go save, we'll bring up the settings in a second. In a couple seconds. Alright. Um, yeah, 25 frames. H264 is a good compressor. I like it anyway. Hit OK. And I just double check, triple check, quadruple check. Yeah. Alright, now I'll just render this off and then you'll be able to see it. Alright, so this is going to take like two hours to render off. Um, you can see all the shadows already looking really nice. Uh, the whole thing's got a nice tint to the whole scene. Um, yeah. And there's also no flickering of any of the shadows or walls, which is really good. And that's my settings for an animation. It's a fly through animation. It's good enough.